Hey YouTube, it is League Turnover Day and it is a rough one because you either have to play Master League Open, which is level 50, so XL Pokemon plus Legendary Pokemon, or you play Element Little Cup Edition. Uh, so it's a 500 CP League, only Fire, Grass, and Water, and only Pokemon that are able to evolve uh, and have not evolved are eligible. So the baby versions of stuff uh, that can evolve. Here is the rankings. What this ranking doesn't show is that Ducklet only loses to one Pokemon, basically, in its Chen Chao as the electric. Um, as a water type, it's just going to resist all the, all the fire type moves and has wing attack buff plus ball beam, just deals with all that. Plus, I have Brave Bird for Nuke, and in these grass type Pokemon, uh, the wing attack does super effective, right? And I, I look through some of the sins, I'm like, you got, I've got to imagine like Vine Web and Seed Bomb, they're probably going to be able to take it out before you do anything. But nope, super effective wing attack. They always throw Bubble Beam right away. Don't even bait. Like, just go straight Bubble Beam. Um, lower the opponent's attack and just wing attack down. And it's just straight. So you're going to see it on pretty much every single team. It should be on every single team. If you want to try and hit Legend, you need to run it on your team. There's just no two ways about it. And then Chin Chao is ranked so high because it's one of the only answers to Ducklet. So it's the hardest answer to Ducklet. Uh, plus it's a water and electric, right? So you're going to do great against uh, other water type Pokemons in general. Uh, plus your water right, so you beat the fire. So great answer there. Uh, Vulpix is the first one on here because it has the move Quick Attack and Body Slam. So Quick Attack again. Whenever you get these like neutral type moves in a limited meta, they actually they help a lot. So having a Quick Attack fast move with Body Slam just able to hit neutral in all situations, which is great. Plus Weather, weather Ball um, to hit super effective on the grass is great. Bubble Storm's on here a couple times again. I think it's one of the best grass Pokemon. It will destroy all the waters. It'll hold in there with Ducklet because it's half flying. Um, Vine Whip Seed Bunts pretty fast. And then Sludge Bomb, if you do, uh, Vine Whip is a pretty fast charging fast move. Um, and Sludge Bomb is still going to hit your waters pretty hard. Salindent Sal Sal um, is the fire type Pokemon, but it's also poison. And it is a very mini Nidoqueen. <laughs> it is uh, Poison Jab, Poison Fang. And if you kind of guessed it, it's very, very glossy. But it hits really hard, and these poison jabs, poison fangs add up real quick. You can doubly like two shield and farm a lot of things down if you if you want to. Um, Wooper's on here again because Wooper's on here because of Chin Chow. You know Ducklet's going to be on here, which means you know that Chin Chow is going to be everywhere, which means that Wooper is going to be to deal with Chin Chow because it is the hardest answer as a mud boy, right? It resists the electric, um, and then a mud shot, mud bomb will do super effective. So that's <laughs> that's the answer for that. Fair Seed is an interesting one because it has tackle and then two steel type moves um but is ferris feed actually let me just check right now uh sorry while i'm doing this right when i'm filming is ferro seed a pure grass type pokemon or does it have the secondary element secondary typing on it like fair thorn it has the secondary typing on it like fair thorn so it it is this half steel so it is double weak to fire which is really, really rough, but also double resists grass and single resists water, right? So that is why that is so high because you have a ton of resistances in here. Uh, just if you have it on your team, pair it with two water Pokemon because you are going to get lit up real quick there. Uh, Laleep, as again, as a, as a rock, as an ancient power, bull seed charges pretty fast. Ancient power, ancient power will be nice for the ducklet, right? It's it's thinking about like what Pokemon will be good for the Ducklet and also hold in there otherwise, and again having the Asian Power for the Ducklet and then Bullsley Grass Knot for the for the Water is a pretty nice combo there. Tortuga, um, Water type Pokemon again Water type Pokemon with nice neutral moves Ancient Power for the Ducklet and Body Sam Spam for the rest. Um, Chikorita again I think it's I think it face it is a very similar to sort of Bulbasaur on this list. Uh, with a vine with fast move, body stamp spam is sort of neutral, and you got the harder hitting grass move as opposed to Bulbasaur, which has a faster hitting grass move and a more harder hitting charge move neutral. So that's the set there. Seals on here with Ice Shard. You're running Ice Shard because you want to hit super effective against the grass. I don't know about this. I think I would actually just prefer it with Lick, in my opinion, because then you hit neutral in all situations as opposed to being resisted on the on the fire. So I don't. I'm not. I mean, PV Poke is good with the analysis, but I would prefer Lick. Again, Seal's tanky. Aqua Tail for the waters. Icy Wind for grass, right? Pretty good coverage all around. 
Um, and that's why I prefer Lick, because if you get in against a water type Pokemon, Aqua Tail and Icy Wind are resisted, so you need something. So I would rather have Lick to hit neutral on water Pokemon, is my thought process. Uh, Dew Piter, Bug Bite, uh, Mirror Coat, and Bubble Beam. So again, it's it's a water type Pokemon, but it's got that bug secondary typing, so that, that bug moves coming through there um, is going to be great against the against the grass. So even though you're water, you're, the bug really helps you out as secondary typing. Fomantis. Um, Double grass moves. Fomantis is interesting because he's got that bug, which will do great against grass, but then you only have grass moves in the back end. So I, I, I don't, it's not that I hate being limited like that, but like if you just get like a fire Pokemon on that, you're just like, eh, you're in trouble already, right? So Marianne, ooh, Marianne, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that is the baby version of Toxapex. Um, so you got the Poison Sting, Brine, and Sludge. So Brine and Sludge is right the charge, the big charge moves that you have on Toxapex with the Poison Sting fast moves, so just the Bay version. Um, again, Poison is going to be great against Grass, so good to have on here as Water, plus you have Water for the Fire moves, right? So Marianne, interesting. I wonder how Glassy does that. I haven't used it in the Baby League here, but that could be interesting. Could you get one below 500 CP from... I don't think you can get one below 500 CP from... Uh, from like uh what's it called like uh rewards from gbl and then polywag uh mud shot mud bomb body slam looks like a cheaper version of whooper why would you just use whooper in that case i guess because you're not double weak to grass in that scenario team number one ducklet chin chow and literally anything um i put in a grass just because um you may get like a mud boy to try and take out Chin Chow, so I think I would put it in the grass to deal with that. Um, but that, literally these two plus anything, <laughs> quite honestly, it's gonna be, look at Ducklet down the board, your only loss is to Chin Chow on the main meta there. Uh, so I put in Chin Chow because that's the main option to beat Ducklet. Uh, plus it has like coverage, again, it'll beat your water, it'll beat your fires, it'll just get lit up by grass, so you cover grass with something else. Covered it, it had bulbs over here, you put in uh, you can put in a fire to cover that. Um, well, you actually, you're kind of, why I put in a grass is because you're like, this team is neutral against Chin Chow and super weak against, against Ducklet with it. Right. So I would run a grass to deal with Chin Chow. Uh, but you don't need to go like a pure grass for it. You can just think of something else that could beat it, but it is obviously Bulbasaur any grass is one of the hardest answers to it. So expect that <laughs> I tried to make two more teams with other Pokemon on it. Start with Bulbasaur again. One of the, I think it's just from the last one, hardest answer to Chincho. Um, but like any, it's this is basically sort of like a balanced team to a certain extent. Um, Vulpix uh, weak to water. You have Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur weak to fire, and you're gonna have Vulpix, which has the fast moves of Quick Attack and Body Slam. So in most fire situations, you're gonna be a better fire. Uh, and then Binacle as a Rock type Pokemon. I think it's Rock type Pokemon with with the uh, as the secondary type in there. So great answer to Ducklet, which you do not have a hard answer to Ducklet here if you're not running Shin Shao, right? So has an answer to Ducklet um, and then covers some of the weaknesses down the board, like Vulpex, because it's have got that rock typing, right? So it's going to do well against that uh, and other fire type Pokemon. But yeah, it is very, very, very tough to build a team without Ducklet on it. Um, and the third team I put together, just like messing around, was... Fomantis, like I saw, it. so, so Fomantis is one of the best answers to Chinchou. Oh, well, yeah, it's a grass, right? So of course that's going to be a good answer to Chinchou when it can only throw electric and water type moves. Um, but that Fury Cutter is also good against other grass type Pokemon, even though you can only throw grass type moves as your charge move. Tortuga is again one of those Pokemon where it's like it's a water type Pokemon, but it has like a rock type subtyping. I'm pretty sure, uh, at least the evolve form does, because I used it. And the I will probably have a rock secondary move to throw at Ducklet, so that's why I'm using that as a water type Pokemon will cover the fire weakness as well. And then a third, put in Tepig. Uh, you can put in whatever. Like I honestly, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of like a safe swap, like maybe Lickitung, no, not Lickitung. Um, Seal has Lick, maybe Seal as a third as like a safe swap, um, or Ducklet <laughs> like as a safe swap, like essentially. So unfortunately, that is what you have to do in this meta. It's going to be very, very limited. You think Bronzer was on a lot of teams? I said Bronzer was on like 85, 90% of teams. Ducklet will be on 98% of the teams. I'd be very, very, very surprised 
if someone ran this played in this meta that did not run ducklet just because how how can you not run ducklet when you have um sorry where is the team number one team number one how can you not run ducklet when you have this right there um just beat the grass because your wing attack and the bubble beam for the fires and the brave bird for nuking anything else Chin Chow is just your only hard answer so that's why I expect to see a lot of Chin Chow. So it, it makes sense to run either a Mud Boy as your third or Grass with like options to beat it. Like a Grass type Pokemon, which has options, like is more well rounded. So Bulbasaur is one for well rounded. Um, Chikorita is okay. Let me, let me go back to the first. Because I just put in Bulbasaur just because it has that like. It's a grass type of vine whip seed bomb comes very quick, but sludge bomb is a very, very, very nice option for a secondary move. Um, so Chikorita, yeah, Chikorita, same thing, right? You got the body slams as a spammy option for number two with a grass knot nuke. Um, for me, says, again, I don't love double grass type moves, but it's an option. Uh, and I'm sure there's other grass type Pokemon that you can look into. So anyways, that is it. We'll see how it goes. Um, again, I'm not optimistic about this cup, but it's not open Master League, right? So we got to do what we got to do to try and hit Legend. Uh, that is it. Let me know what you're using below. Ducklet plus what? <laughs> like, what's your third? <laughs> or if there's other Pokemon that are not on this list that you think is, like, sneaky, let me know. Uh, and that is it. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.